Hi and welcome to Ocean AI. This is a market outlook for the indices for the week starting the 7th of February. Firstly looking at the S&P here. Um, we had a rally up last week. Uh, went a bit higher than I was expecting. I uh, was expecting an ABCD into the 4500 area but it went a bit further. Um, so what it's done now is we have the 61% retracement from the, from the all time high. And we also have the 7, 707 retracement from this first high here. Uh, so the expected move looking down towards 4,000 um, over the next week or so into the 16th, 17th of February. That would give us equal time if we look at the A, B move and the C to D move. Um, firstly, we'll go into a smaller time frame. Ah, uh, going to the 15 minute. So what I was expecting hey, last week, I was expecting a move down to here and then one more rally and then a sell off. This is all a bit, bit ugly really. This is no pattern in here to short or anything like that. Um, so once we got this final move on Friday, up to the 61% here, and that was a good place to go short for the weekend. Um, so what we're we looking for on Monday, ideally what we want is a some sort of a retracement. So if we can open either a little bit lower and then rally up into Forty-five ten to forty-five twenty area. If we can get a rally, something like this, that'd be a great place to sell short if you're not already short. Um, if we go back to what we had at the start up here. We're getting the same thing. So we had that first sell off, then that A B C D Gartley back into here, and then we sold off from there. So as we're looking at something similar here, this first drop, then that ABCD Gartley back into the 61%. It's just markets repeating itself. Um, but also on the possible bullish side here, we could have, don't want to just say that we're going down to 4,000 and that's it, because we've got to look at the other, other options as well. What we do have here is the possibility of an ABCD down to 4400 area here and then a possibility of that moving higher that's your bullish bullish count there um, but with this being corrective here we expect more downside so just giving you the option there that we could move higher, um, but as it stands, we're looking for lower prices. So any pullbacks, we need to sell for now. Um, if we look at the Dow, Dow is very similar. Same thing here. We, look, we had that Gartley that run a bit higher. Um, and now obviously with that, we're looking for that ABCD down into the 32,000 area. Go back to the hourly. Four hour. Yeah, ABCD's down at uh, 31,855 area. Um, before we get to that, we've got the... The 1.618 extension of this move at just over 32,000 and also from this move here we've got the 1.414 just above that 32,000 as well. 32,000 being a, a Fibonacci level, a major level, with the Fibonacci levels being, um, so three being a Fibonacci level and then 31, 32 and 33 
Um, so yeah, big levels to watch. Uh, but same thing as the S and P. Go back into that shorter time frame. Um, we've had that rally up and the pullback here. So with the Dow slightly different, um, we're at a lower low. Um, so this could also be bullish as well. This could also maybe one more low back to 35,000. This could also rally up again and then head lower or or it could just head higher. But with the way this has dropped off, yeah, it's quite impulsive. Um, normally, if it was going to be corrective, we'd get something a bit slower, something like that, back to 50, 60% retracement, then it would go. But due to the speed on the first move, I want to be looking for, say, it drops 35,000 to start with, looking for that pullback into the 50, 60% area, around 35,200. Free little drop here and get something like this. That would be the ideal setup here, low risk. Um, so same thing with that, looking to see what it does first thing uh, Monday morning and then adjusting our levels and go according to that. Um, so if we go to the NASDAQ, NASDAQ similar. Once again, they're all showing the same thing. NASDAQ had that Gartley back up here too, and then obviously we've had that, this ABCD in here, oh, not that one, go down to the 15 minute, this one's a lot clearer, so you've got from that high, moved up to the 50% retracement here, so that gives us that Gartley we're looking for here. So get looking at that and yeah, same thing. Looking for that first move on Monday, maybe a little bit lower, exactly the same really. And then get looking for that pullback and then sell. So really, first thing Monday, just waiting to see where it drops or where it rallies to, adjusting our FIB levels and looking for that ABCD Gartley to sell off. What else we got? Oh, we go to Europe, go to the DAX. Uh, the DAX is setting up real nice. Go to the four hour first. So the DAX here has had some really nice patterns. Um, we had this Gartley here, which took us up into the 61% for that one, and we're getting the sell-off. Um, so that sets us up for the ABCD to come down to 14,300. Um, also in that area, we've got the 1.414 extension here from this move and also the 1.27 from this move down to here. So there's a lot of things here that would stop it. Um, so looking for more downside and also what we've had here after this pattern completed, we had this first sell off. And then we got that first move back into 38. 50% area. It was this Gartley here, which is as good as you can get. Gave us very little risk on that and had a nice sell off. And then we got the same thing again. So exact same pattern again. We got that Gartley back into the 382. So yes. When markets start trending to the downside or the upside, and these 382s start working, that's when you know there's um, there's more moves coming. And it's likely the next move will probably be faster. But once again, like we have with the US indices, 
see where it opens on Monday morning and look for that pullback sell. Same thing here. Look for that move up. Back to that three. Oh. Back to that 382, 50% area. And then looking for more downside. Um, yeah, that's it. That's what I've got with the indices for the US and the DAX there. Um, yeah, hope this helps. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.